Now, we've got some security specific uh, protocols, tools really, um, that we start to use here at the transport layer. And, uh, I, you know, this is where we're starting to do connection orientation, so we're starting to think about um, authentication, identification, uh, accountability, uh, authorization even. Uh, so we have things like Secure Shell, uh, and hopefully everybody is using Secure Shell rather than plain old Telnet these days. Um, but also um, Secure Socket Flare. Now, Secure Socket Flare is the reason that we have uh, digital certificates built into every single browser on the planet these days. Um, and uh, it is really what has provided the ability to um, do e-commerce. Um, well, I mean, you know, not necessarily Secure Sockets layer itself, but it is the, the backbone and the concept uh, for uh, the authentication um, that is necessary when we're dealing with um, e-commerce financial type applications. Um, and of course, it's not just uh, secure sockets layer itself, um, but the uh, development over time into uh, transport layer security, TLS. Um, and it really doesn't matter um, whether uh, you're using uh, SSL or TLS conceptually they are doing the same thing. Um, there, you know, there are variations and, and yes, you, you have to make sure that you're using the right thing for the right purpose and so forth. But by and large, um, the, the concepts that um, go on here with, uh, with the, either SSL or TLS, it, it's the same same deal. So, um, in in terms of what is actually happening, um, it it really doesn't matter uh, when we're discussing it, which one we're we're talking about. Yes, implementation is going to uh, require it, but um, in in terms of the concepts here, well, um, as I say, you know. It, we're, we're doing an exchange here of digitally signed keys and uh, creating uh, a session key or multiple session keys, um, depending on the application. Um, but um, it's the dig digital signatures, and, and that's, as I say, you know, why every uh, browser has the certificates to verify, uh, you know, the, the certificates that it holds, the, the, that the browsers hold, are the certificates, the public certificates, remember, public and private, um, the public keys for uh, the companies, the uh, certificate authorities, certification authorities that are issuing uh, the other certificates. And so it is the private key of the certificate authority that is uh, signing the uh, keys uh, for uh, developers, for corporations, for banks, for uh, uh, retail uh, organizations, uh, so that everybody can trust who they are dealing with and that they're dealing with the proper people. So that's all um, done. Uh, or validated anyways through the rubric of uh, SSL and, and TLS. Um, the 
uh, establishment of the session key, of course, is, is uh, part of the process. Um, and uh, as I say, you know, it, it doesn't matter which uh, uh, specific protocol you're using. Uh, they are basically doing the same thing. Um, this enables client-server applications to communicate securely, to verify. Um, uh, it, it doesn't verify us as, as users. You know, we are out there with our copy of Windows or Linux or a Mac, whatever it may be. Um, and uh, we haven't been uh, verified and authenticated. But we can um, securely provide uh, our authentication information, our uh, credit card numbers, our uh, passwords, and so forth, uh, knowing that the exchange is protected uh, by SSL or TLS, um, and that it verifies that we are giving this information to a valid entity, somebody who has dealt with one of the certification authorities and has verified to them that they are a legitimate business. Um, so, uh, the, you know, the eavesdropping, uh, tampering with the exchange, uh, message uh, forgery um, is uh, prevented uh, by the the encryption and the digital uh, signing of it. So um, there is the the SSL record protocol, which is used to pass the messages, and the SSL handshake protocol, which is used to establish the um, uh, the session keys uh, and uh, you know make sure that that is done uh, securely and in the next uh, clip here we will go through how we do that